Hi, this is David Syme. Uh, you might remember in one of my previous videos I was showing you Haloxicar and their looking glass factory uh, holographic displays and their ability to take uh, 2D and 3D images and things like uh, CT scans, MRI scans and then translate them into something which was effectively holographic. The problem with this is that the equipment that's required to view it is very expensive in the tens of thousands of pounds, high tens of thousands of pounds and, and really quite bulky and heavy as well which renders it, mm, the use case is very limited for different environments. This, on the other hand, which is also compatible with what Holoxica have been doing, is in the hundreds, so the low hundreds of dollars. And it's very portable. It's This cable is just connected to a power connection. It's not like a, it's actually holding the data itself. So it's portable. Or you can, if you connect it to a kind of a general spec gaming laptop, uh, put information live into it but you can also upload that, that information into the device that you can take to people for, in, for for instance patient consultations and this kind of thing i just want to give you an idea of what this looks like now obviously i'm seeing this with two eyes so i'm getting the real benefit of depth that you're not you're not going to get out of a, a single lens camera if i click this you'll see it animating and again all the rotation that you're seeing is because of my hand movement right that, that's not in the animation now, if I pause that and then I'll just go through. This is interesting, this is a static image, but as you can see, the actual, if you look through the magnifying glass, you'll actually see movement, uh, you'll actually see the magnification. Oh, I'm gonna go back again. And you'll see the sheen changing on the on the blades of the, of the knife and on the compass. And then next, we have this heart here, which is really interesting because this was what we were talking about. We were uh, having a conversation today about the benefits in terms of patient consultation, uh, translating information from the radiology department to the surgical department and to people who aren't trained to be able to, in their own heads, convert things from 2D to 3D. And also people who are maybe new to this, whether it be a patient or whether it be somebody who's training in surgery or in radiology, that early stage training, being able to take 2D images and turn them into 3D and actually view this in a way which is, to my two eyes, extremely clear, could be very, very valuable. And now, of course, with this less expensive hardware, it's within people's reach. So let us know what you think of this below. It'd be really interesting to see what you think of the potential applications. We've talked about engineering and, and medicine and really anything where you're dealing with complex internal systems, but there could be so many other applications for this. You tell me. So put it in the comments below and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Bye-bye.